what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic i'm going to show you a quick video on how to change the color of your wiring in revit mep 2019 okay so i have received this question from one of my subscribers, and this is my answer to that so i'm going to show you how to do it all right so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new project and i'll be using here an electrical template okay so in case you don't have electrical template you can always use systems default metric so it is a combination of mechanical and electrical discipline okay so if you don't have the systems default metric as well as the electrical default metric you just need to inform me and i'm going to share it, this to you all right so i'm going to go ahead and select um, electrical default metric i'm going to open to create the project okay and then i'm going to show you first uh one of the tool that we can use to change the color of our wiring okay so let me just create first a wire so i'm going to select systems here i'm going to select here wire okay and then i'm going to pick two points one two and then i'm going to pick one here all right so this is now my wire okay so if i'm going to change this wire okay i am going to use the first thing that you that will come into your mind is to use the visibility graphic overrides yes so you can use that you can type vv okay and then you just need to look for wires just click that okay and then you can change here the override so i'll click this one and then i'll change this to red and then I'm going to select your OK. And then I select your OK. Then I select your OK. And then that is what will going to happen. So it will change now the color to red. Okay, so every uh, wire that you will be creating, okay, it will change that to color uh, color red. Okay, based on the visibility graphic overrides. But take note if you're going to change your view, Okay, you will not be able to see this wire in either view. Okay, so you can only see this in the view where you have created it. Okay, so if I go to lighting, you'll not be able to see that here. If I go to 3D, you'll not be able to see that. Okay, so you can only see that wire in the view where you have drawn it. Okay, so it's not here as well. So let's check if, if the visibility graphic overrides for wiring is unchecked. So it's still checked here. But then again, it's not showing here because your wire is something like a detail, a detail item. Okay, it's a 2D drawing. You'll not be able to see that in either view. Okay, now the problem is if you are going to change the type of wire. So I'm going to select the wire. So let's say I'm going to select here this one, THWN. So I'm going to click that okay so as you can see the color will inherit the same color because you have changed the settings on the visibility graphic overrides so let's say for example this is not what you want what you want is you want to have a different color of the wire okay so i'm going to show you the second option so we are not going to use the visibility graphic overrides so what we want is every time we change our the type of our wire okay we want to have a different color okay so let me just go ahead and change this back to its normal or default color so i'm going to open again the visibility graphic overrides and then the wires and then i'm going to clear the overrides so i'm not going to use the visibility graphic overrides on the model categories then i'm going to select here okay now instead of using that tab using model categories tab on the visibility graphic overrides so what i'm going to go ahead is i'm going to select filters okay so this filter is the one that i'm going to use so let's say for example this is what so this is x h h w the other one is uh t h w n okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a filter that is a uh, rule base so i'm going to type vv 
and then I'm going to select here filters and then I'm going to select edit new I click this one and then on a rule based filter I'm going to select new all right so I select this and then you can name it so let's say for example this is my type 1 wire or whatever wire is that or whatever name that you want so type 1 and then I'll go ahead and select OK and then I'm going to select here the wires so this is the category that I want to be included to the filter that I'm creating so I'm going to select wires and for the rules so I'm going to select here uh, the type wire type okay so there is no wire type type okay so we can use the type here so I'm going to select type that is containing what's that again x h w n let me double check all right x h h w okay so x h h w so v v filters edit new new all right so filter one this is for my wires okay so I'm going to select your type and then that contains X H H W all right so this is the filter for my type for that type so I'm going to select your add and then I select filter one that's it so I'm gonna change here the color colors so let's say green I select OK you can also change the line weight here as well as the pattern if you want so I'm just going to use the color select OK so let me select your OK all right so that is not working okay because the category that we have selected there is type okay so it's not wire types okay so what we are going to do is I'm going to select VV I'm going to edit this filter this one so instead of type I'm going to use here uh, insulation okay so insulation we need to look for a parameter that we can use on the wire type because there is no wire type here so let's look for another parameter so if I'm going to cancel this one let me just show it to you quickly if I click this and then edit type you can see that one of the parameter here is insulation okay so insulation so we will be using this actually there's a type here so before we go to the insulation so let us modify the type of our filter so VV filters edit new okay so instead of contains I'm going to select your equal equals okay so this is type of wire so as you can see there really is no arc uh, uh, wire type here okay because this is the type of wire so instead of using this I'm going to use um, insulation so insulation that contains X H H W then OK green and then OK so you will notice it's now working okay so let, let's just now change this one so this one the property that we will be using is insulation as well so the insulation contains the word or letters THWN so let's try to do that so VV you go to filters uh, edit new you create a new one okay so filter to or you can name it whatever you like so let's just select OK and then let's select the category that we want to be included to the filter to let's move the slider down click the wires and click the drop down arrow let's look for insulation that contains what's that uh, the H W N and then select OK 
So let's now add the filter that we just created. And there you go. Select that and OK. So let's say we want this to be blue. OK. OK. And then OK. So as you can see, it's now working. So every time you create wire, OK, it will be based on the insulation. OK. So the rule is the insulation contains the insulation type. Okay, so if you want to create a new type, say different color of your wire. So instead of using these two, so let's say you have a another type of wire. So you just need to duplicate this. So let's say this is your uh, type 3. Okay, so this is your type 3. And then you just need to key in here what is the insulation of the type 3. So let's say I'm going to type T3. Enter. Oh, sorry. You just click the drop down arrow. You, you can customize this. Just click the drop down arrow. And then you can see here the type of uh, insulation. So let's say for the type 3, I want FEP. That's the insulation. So I'm going to select here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to create wire here. Okay, so now I need to create a filter for that. Okay, so what's the insulation again? So this is FEP. So you can type VV filters, edit new, just create a new one, filter three, move the slider and then select wires and look for insulation that contains what's that FEP FEP okay and then you just need to add it okay so let's say this is for my red then okay then okay then okay there you go okay so take note that you can also use the other parameters here, not only the insulation, but you can also use the pa other parameters here. All right. So like, for example, if there is a parameter that you can use for material, so you can use the material on the rule. So if you want to use the parameter for the neutral size, so you can use this one if you want to control the, the color. Okay, so it's up to you. Just take note of the rules that is available when you create a filter. So for the wires, so let's check. So, so these are the parameters that you can use for the wires. Okay, so the neutral size, max size, neutral conductors, the panel. The type okay so these are the parameters that you can use okay all right so basically that's how you customize the color of your your wiring okay you can use the filter okay so do not use the model categories here and then go to the wires do not use this one because it will apply to all to all the wires to be more specific, just use a filter. Okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.